15 love. Fifteen old. Oh, that is huge. I mean, it, it's interesting in the beginning to see who's got the patience, who believes that the other guy is going to miss first, because they both kind of play the same kind of game. Djokovic is a little more aggressive in his court positioning, but in terms of the ball striking, Gael is often more aggressive, especially with that forehand. Obviously, that's a play he's going to go for. This is in control of the point either way. He looks pretty sharp to me, Djokovic. Nishikori was outstanding coming forwards and at the net, wasn't he, against Murray? So surprising. Yeah. into the call on the left far sideline the ball was called out yeah I think he thinks he missed it just wide wow no got it game's up on the scoreboard first game it's not that long ago, Mats, we were saying Novak Djokovic was unplayable and almost unbeatable. He had a bit of a hiccup off the court. That gave him hiccups on the court. Then, of course, he had to pull out of Cincinnati with a left wrist issue. But it's not that long ago he was playing unbelievable tennis. No, it isn't. I don't, and I think he just hasn't done it for the last month. So, I, I mean, we should not be surprised if he comes out here and plays unbelievable tennis and wins in three sets today and he demolishes Stan Wawrinka in the finals, who I think has a good chance to beat Nishikori. He's certainly not losing to Nishikori after that semi-final two years ago, that's for sure. So um, it's just a month of... It's a month of just not normal Novak Djokovic that we have just had. 15, love. It's interesting how Guy in Monfils has changed his serve position with his feet. Is that with Tilstrom? You would think. You would think to get a little more power, be able to throw the ball a little bit more in front of you, get some more leg action into it. I think he serves better. It used to be very much like Andy Roddick, didn't it? Or Andy Roddick was like Monfils, whichever way around you prefer. 
Well, Gael claims that he did not try and imitate uh, Andy Roddick at all. It surely looked like he did, but too, too little age difference between the two for him to imitate anybody. Third hill. Still streaming in to the spaceship. He's often been an unidentified flying object, hasn't he, Monfils, on the tennis court? A bit nervous here early on, inevitably. Just his second Grand Slam semi after the French. Oh, 08, a long time ago. Mm. Oof. James Ogovic. Gifts the break. Djokovic leads two games to love. First set. It's the perfect start for Djokovic. He has beaten Monfils from a set down three times. You almost feel that like Monfils has got to win the first three sets today. <laughs> you do, and that's been the problem over the years for Gael Monfils. He always plays well for the first hour. And then he gets tired. I don't see much of a difference in Novak Djokovic's approach to the semis. Walks quickly between points. Very decisive. Boris Becker was very calm the other night. We had dinner with Boris. Okay. Gonna have to re-evaluate what Novak Djokovic has gone through for the last week or the last month. Game. Love game Djokovic. to extend the lead. He's three love up in eight minutes. Djokovic leads three games to love. First set. Screens could be turned off. The giant screens, four of them. She said, no, that's what it always is. It's for TV and everything else. And Novak said, so TV is more important than the players, not for the first time. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The players are ready. Take Agassi, I think, was the one that managed to get them switched off. He hated the big screens here. Andy Murray doesn't like him at the Australian Open. I know that. Yeah. They're so far up, high up, though, you would think they wouldn't worry. It really, I have to express my, my thoughts about the, this generation. It is also has to do with if there's something going on, let's say an iPad or a computer or a cell phone, they cannot keep their eyes off it because it, it's the, a grown up with a, a device. And if something happens, they got to look at it. They can't even help themselves. <laughs> I can. You can. I'm sure. Yeah. So, they're not really to blame. Oh, this is just not good for Gael Monfils. I do not know if he can come back from a big defeat in the first set. And Novak wants to try and win a major for the first time, spending less than 10 hours on court, it feels like. <laughs> Boy, amazing. We call him Mr. Entertainment. 15, 14. It's a rare thing to say that Monfils at the moment looks shackled. Yes, he does. He just doesn't look free at all to play. That helps.
30, 40. Still a break point. Well, I think that when you have players like Gael Monfils or Grigor Dimitrov or Nick Curious, yes. these, these showmen, it's very fun to watch them. But what's missing, I think, guts. Mm. Because guts means you get out there and you are going to find a way to win this match or the best way to play it. And I don't see Gael Monfils trying to do anything at the moment to change the scenario. Of course, it would be nice if he could give some help from Novak Djokovic as well, but... Advantage, Djokovic. Another great point, third of the game. He said before coming on court, I still enjoy it, I'm just winning more, when asked about his more serious frame of mind. Maybe he's got to go back to the showman to release him. He's definitely taken by the situation. There you go, another game. double fault. Djokovic. Wow. Bet you that's three double faults, and I don't know if he's made three double faults in total Djokovic in his first five wins. matches. Four games to love. Per set. And just look at his look. This must be a horrible feeling, Matt, to, to freeze on a stage. I saw it with Anna Konya. I wouldn't know what you're talking about, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I only froze once, and that was against Miroslav Mechir in the quarterfinals at Wimbledon. The year you won the other three? The year I won the other three, and I was love. seeded two, I think. And I wish I was off that court within ten minutes. Wow. How bad I felt. I think Gael is very close to feeling like that. Ain't no open stance forehand when it comes up to that one. In the crowd, there's a mood of, uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a little too much there, Mr. Djokovic. But at 30 15. Thirty. Good idea. Change the pace up. Make sure Gael Monfils is not too far behind the baseline. Bring him closer and therefore more vulnerable to Novak's heavy forehand top spins. In his strings, he's it's just all over the place, Monfils. So serious backstage, most serious I've ever seen him. It's five love. Game on top of it. Sixteen minutes. Who would have thought that? Djokovic leads five games to love, first set. Somehow Monfils has got to energise himself. But love five down. I mean, the poor guy can't win as far as all of us are concerned. He's got the label of being too much about Mr Entertainment, not enough about winning, so he gets more serious. It seems to have had an adverse effect on him for this match, let's say. Mm. 
one-word answers in the meaningless interviews before they walk out onto court. Not a smile in sight. Love, 13. And he's getting hammered. First time. That's the first time he really looked up to his coach, Mikael Tilström. Go for the second serve. I don't think that's what Tilstrom thought gave him the advice to do, but yeah. do something different. Relax. Hit out. We always talk about Gael Monfils being really talented, one of the most talented players in the world. Well, we keep forgetting that talent is also tactical knowledge. And the tactical knowledge of Gael Monfils is very limited until he plays points like that. Use your speed to come forwards. Use your forehand as an approach shot, not as a winner. Pose a threat. Make Djokovic have to hit deeper. He's challenge the call on the left near side. I line. think he's right. The ball was called out. It's off the back foot, wasn't it? A miss it forehand. Set point, Djokovic. 30 14. Monfils has two challenges remaining. Played 35 sets. There's only ever been one love set. It was in their very sense. first meeting here in the first round 11 years ago. Djokovic lost it. Six love. Yes. 7 5 in the fifth. He won that day. The serve in four hours and two minutes. Four hours and two minutes today. It looks very unlikely. Second service. Well done. Does that help? Certainly gets the crowd engaged. And that's what it needs. The crowd loves Gael Monfils. They don't dislike Novak Djokovic, but in general, they dislike the number one in the world, the only number one in the world they ever loved over here. Well, John McEnroe, apart from him, is Roger Federer. Anyone else who's number one, they want them to lose. Yay. Yes. Monfils. On the scoreboard, saves the bagel, Monfils. Djokovic leads five games to one per set. Great length. 15 love. Forcing one feast back.
will face the challenge of the call on the right service line. The ball was called in. Portilov, Monfils has one challenge remaining. Forty fifteen. No better time to serve a double than at forty, love. Two more set points. Had enough of the set, Monfils, but he's won the point. He stopped and just walked. Pay attention, Asking Eva Astoraki more to pay attention. For what? I don't know. He's not challenging the out court. It's a bit touchy, isn't he? Screens? Yes, a little bit, yeah. He definitely is not in a good place mentally or emotionally. That's a different way of doing it, trying to walk to beat Novak. It's working. Yes. No. It's giving, giving him no pace at all with the backhand return, the backhand slice. Obviously, he's just doing it because he's tired of fighting for this set, but maybe he can learn from it. Love to break point. Advantage, Monfils. It's the way he sort of mumbled and grumbled to Eva Azdaraki Moore for no real reason. Hasn't won a point since. Use. Monfils. Yeah, he's livid. Is he livid with Monfils sort of trying to give the set away, but it hasn't been won yet? Is Thank it you. something else? Monfils looking to either rest or more ball abuse. Does he want him to have a warning? He's kicking off here. A chance to look at Monfils. What's he doing? <laughs> this is boy, oh boy. That is amazing. Monfils. What an absolute breakdown. Balls, I hope they keep the screen on the interaction here between the chair umpire and Novak. I want one of you to go and speak to somebody backstage and get the screens turned off. Someone's left. Will it happen? We'll have to wait and see. But he is clearly disgruntled the world number one. In spite of the scoreboard. So it's quickly, please. At 5-0 up. You. Bizarre. New balls in play. Monfils, 2-5. Will he battle harder now to try to secure this opening set? Go 
Popovic to silence of the call on the left near sideline. The ball was called out. So a volley from Monfils. In love, Djokovic has two challenges remaining. No, but he's changing things up, Monfils. He was obviously lucky to break before when he was standing around and just bunting the one handed slice backhand. But he has changed something. It's a fifth double fall. Boy, so fast. Swallowed the ground up to the net. Such a good volley. You should do that way more often. <laughs> You can kind of sense when your opponent just slices the return back. It's not completely full yet, the stadium, but it somehow looks full. Yeah. A lot of people, though. Five love to five three. See? Big game coming up here for Djokovic because he's going to have to forget everything that just happened. Djokovic, all his arguments, all his problems. Screens are still on, so the person he sent is either really slow <laughs> or he has no power at all. So it could be Boris because <laughs> he's slow, but he has power. If he's waiting for a lift, he could be a while. It take a long time here, the elevators to arrive. <laughs> He's missed it. And what's coming to my mind now, Matt, Gilles Simon. Novak Djokovic, Australian Open this year. Simon softballing. He broke uh, Novak's forehand down completely, giving him zero pace. Absolutely, and down the middle, most of them as well. Uh, Simon doesn't have the same firepower in his passing shot, but that was an interesting point because he wanted Novak to come in, Gael, and then when he get a chance, he just hit a really hard passing shot. It's the standing around for receiving the serve that I'm a little confused about here for Gael. It's really close inside the baseline. Looks like he's waiting for the lift to take us up <laughs> yeah. to the 12th floor at the Park of Meridian, but he... It's not how he stands normally. It's like he's deliberately trying to play with Djokovic's mind. Got him. He hates no pace, Novak. We know that. This is working. Fifteen thirty. Acceleration of pace when he wants it to go from softballing to that. How good's that? Thank you. Thank you. He's entertaining us now. No one missed off a bump return. Two break points to get back to 5 4. 15 Gonna make that. 
That's an easy shot. Terrific body serve. Yes. Still looking if the big screens are on. They are. Djokovic is surrounding this court. I think it's too far up to be worried about it. Yeah. I really do. Cannot see how that's going to interrupt or interfere with you. softball that time yeah it's too simple it works for a while but it's too simple these that players are way too good once they get up and they get an easy volume and overhead they're gonna win it 99% of the time so and Djokovic is gonna find his range if Gael keeps playing like this Gael is not gonna win too many games a very easy set under 20 minutes it took 36 minutes in the end and Djokovic seals it six games to three seen a more bizarre set day 13 exciting for British tennis Jamie Murray and his partner Bruno Suarez they're in the doubles final they won the Australian Open at the start of the year Tomorrow from 5 o'clock, Eurosport 1, live and exclusive for you. Going for their second major of the year together. What can we expect in this second set, Matt? I'm not sure you expect Gael Monfils to start playing again. When once he starts playing, I think Novak Djokovic is way too good. Should he continue soft balling, particularly to the forehand of Novak? Yeah, maybe. Maybe he should. Just to get Novak a little bit riled up and get irritated, but... I think that the one interesting thing that we talk about when we talk about the Jill Simon match against Novak Djokovic at, at the Australian Open, it did go five sets and it took a serious chunk out of Novak's physical and mental strength. Super. And there was ever, never a chance that Jill Simon was going to win the match. But that's not the point. He played him the right way and he destroyed the confidence. Novak didn't practice the following day, so I think that's what players have to understand. You've got to play him the right way and then have the next guy hopefully have a better chance to beat him. Has to stay close in the scoreboard here, Gael. In fact, has to hold serve.
go for just a huge second serve again. We've seen it already. Whew. Yeah. Right on the line. Jumped off. Yes. Well, at least he's starting to smile a little, using the kick serve for the serve and volley. What next? This will be driving Novak nuts. The softball of the forehand again, Novak not wanting to rally, comes to the net. What a point there after. Uh, I mean, he did well at the net there, Novak. He's actually really unlucky. But again, Gaia Mofis has so much power off of a nothing volley so that he can he can hit passing shots from both sides and uh, you better be ready for it he's a photographer's dream isn't he with the aerial <laughs> shots it's one when he was in the air parallel his whole body parallel to the ground and the photographers in the press room they said did you get the photo <laughs> everybody knows exactly the photo they're talking about and there's <laughs> how many matches is there, are there there are about 15 courts, about five matches a court. So what does that make? Five, 75 matches a day. And they just say, did you get the photo? <laughs> it's always Gael Monfils. Incredible. He's love. made a decision, isn't he, on off these soft balls, he's going forwards as soon as he can. It's a good plan if he hates playing them. love. Aggressive. Forty. Didn't miss mo much. <laughs> Didn't miss Monfils by much. <laughs> Little look back from Gale. Djokovic, his back was already turned. Let press service. No mistake this time from 40 Love. One game all, second set. Crucial game for Novak here. He needs to get a break and get going here. You do feel that if Novak gets up a break and he can hold serve and he gets away by and he's in the lead by two games, suddenly this match is going to break open completely and I don't see Gael coming back. Uh, 
And it might be now because suddenly there's a different Novak Djokovic out there. More aggressive spring to his step. Sudden seven straight points. Three more break points. Two love games in a row for the world number one. He gets that break. We're talking about Mats, and he leads a set and two one. He tried this sort of just walk around the court, not trying sort of at it. It's just a weird one. It really is. It's just Novak that sort of is back to his old form to me. Uh, he plays aggressively when he has to. When there's a short Thank ball, you. he takes it. He comes in after it. Hasn't served as well as he usually does, I think. But the forehand is really big, the big, big weapon for him today. Looking to do something with everyone and not necessarily hit a winner, but to take control of the rally. Fifteen or. Kind of have to make those returns. 116 miles per hour. It's not a big serve. It's just a spinner down the middle. Gotta make it. plays tennis now Novak Djokovic when he takes every single short ball he does something okay, with it you know that Boris Becker is in his head every single day and people often ask me what do you think where's tennis going in the future we're watching it right now somebody who comes into the net every second every third point because you okay, cannot okay. hit winner to win championships these days, you have to be a complete player and you have to tactically be aggressive. And it doesn't mean you have to hit winners, you just have to it means you have to control your shot with your forehand or your backhand, hit a good approach shot, come in and be willing to play two or three volleys. It is possible to do that still, and it'll be the game of the future, I'm convinced. Won 13 Love, out of the last 14 points, Djokovic. Oh. Wow. Oh, Just gone away. Thank you. The face looking to serve and volley. 15, 13. Everybody should think about serving and volleying every single point, whether they do or not. Yeah. And they would serve better. Unless they're hitting the kicker. True. 30 all. Wait, please.
40. Another break point. His eyes wide open. He does every return. has almost become a matter of time. Yep, it's over. Semi-final. The next one, of course, is coming up not before 10 minutes from now, so obviously there has been no injury yet or retirement for Novak. To progress even simpler, so it'll be following now Vavrinka and Nishikori. The second semi-final, straight after this, live on Eurosport 1 and exclusive. Stats, you know, do they mean anything? Does Monfils, are we now seeing the fact that he probably walked onto this court thinking, I can't beat Thank Novak you. Djokovic? It feels a little like that right now. Correction, replay the point. Oh. This challenge of the call on the left baseline. Well, he's got to hope this is out to leave that and it's in. That will sum up his day so far. Well, it's in. 15 love. One face has two challenges remaining. Forehand is really firing right now, Novak Djokovic. 30, love. He's trying to hit as many as possible, hits them with great variation. Yesterday, I was lucky enough to sit on the court surface watching Nishikori and Andy Murray, and I could not believe how high they play over the net and the difference in height that Andy Murray uses. And Djokovic is one of the same guys. It's a sort of flatter, a little lower, and then he throws up a high one. And we can't really tell on TV what it does, but what it does is pushes his opponent back, makes them hit off of the back foot, and then they step onto the next one and take time away from the opponent. A dollar for Tilstrom's thoughts right now. Five won the lead. Djokovic leads five games to one. Second set. Well, I would say at this time I'm looking back at my players' box and I'm going, okay, um, who's coming with me? Because we're going to go to we're going to go to Nels first nightclub and then we're going to go to a nice restaurant because he has the whole afternoon off. I mean, literally. It's only 4.30. It's amazing. 15, love. It's only the fifth point Monfils has won in the last 25 played. Wow. Verity, ah! love. Total opposite to the softball. <laughs> he 
It is very hot and humid. 40-15. Over 100 degrees on court. 90 degrees at the start of play. It's in the shade. to start serving in the third set because you're going to be down straight away now you lose your serve suddenly you're down two love three love and the match is over so one service break is okay if you start serving in the set then you're okay to lose you lose your serve once because you're only down by a game in general this is detrimental for God one feast Monfils. Well, a dodgy game with the two double faults in it, but Monfils doubles his account, second set. The new balls for Djokovic, serving for a two sets lead. Djokovic leads, five games to two, second set. It's there's no respite from it. This is the absolute worst conditions you can play tennis in. Because it's humid and it's not, it's warm, but it's not completely, it's not sweltering warm. So it's humidity, which means the balls are picking up some of that, that humidity in the air. But they're not warm, the rubber is not warm, so they don't fly as far, so you don't get any spin at all. That's what Andy Murray Thank suffered you, from you. yesterday when they closed the roof. He suddenly got nothing going with his forehand. I don't think Novak Djokovic really cares what the weather is like. On the line. Jeez. 15 left. He's challenging that straight away. Djokovic is into the call on the right near sideline. The ball was called out. And he caught the line. 30 love. Three set points. Just the one required. Holds to love. Djokovic leads two sets to love after 65 minutes. Six games to two. To stroll in Central Park. Djokovic leads by two sets to love. A good idea. Love, 15. 
and a sprinkling of serve and volley every service game. We saw success with that. He's not really looked for it much since. No, at least once a game. Yeah. We'll take off the second serve. But, I mean, scare tactic. Love I suppose if it works, it's good, it's good news, but it's frustrating him that he just can't find the answer to this puzzle. 12 losses in a row against Novak, dating back to the US Open here 11 years ago in the first round. Wow. Maybe he thought the return was going long. He stopped, really, but then it was in. 15, Not for the 14. first time, a then misjudgment. challenge it. Yeah. As soon as you hit it, you know you're going to miss it. Challenge it straight away. The crowd are starting to get onto Monfils here. Yeah. And he's saying, come on, then, give me more. They're not slowing coming forward, the New, the New Yorkers. They want to be seeing a man out there giving his all. Jimmy Connors has been quite vocal on that on Twitter this fortnight about the lack of it. Oh. 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 Game Everything is just going down the toilet for Gael Monfils. And this is going to be rough for him. First game, I mean, he's a crowd favourite, people love him. And then suddenly something like this happens. And Sad. They have turned. Jean Gachassin, president of the French Tennis Federation, he's at a loss, it seems, as well, with those pictures to explain what's going on here. He's a true fan. He goes to every French player's games, doesn't matter what court they're on. And uh, I believe his term is up in it's the end of this year, isn't it? End of the year, maybe. Yeah. yeah. And it's definitely going to get the boot and somebody else is coming in. They've had so many knocking on the door since Yannick Noah, haven't they? Peeling finals of, of Grand Slam. Songa, the last French man to get to a final, of Thank course. You. The Australian Open 08. It's been a long wait since Yannick Noah in 83. For one their men to win one. Oh. Can't imagine what it must feel like. Love to be on the Arthur Ashe Stadium court and get royally booed. I can. <laughs> Played a mixed doubles with uh, Pat Cash against Martina Hingis and Anna Kornikova. We were certain they're going to they're going to split us up. And we played in, we played before one of the quarterfinals. We were supposed to play before one of the men's quarterfinals, but we ended up playing after it. So we're the only. The people that were left had had a couple of drinks. <laughs> Pat Cash came out from the locker room and said, Matt, I can't serve, I can't move my neck at all. You're going to have to do everything. Well, wow. And I hadn't played any tennis at all. Martina Hingis was insane. She was so good. And that corner corner was a little bit up and down. And we thought, well, we can't win 6-1 because <laughs> that's rude. But we can't lose either. So it turned out to be 7-5. And we were like, oh my goodness, we nearly lost to two women <laughs> on this court. Which is, you can lose to women, but when you're a pro player, 
introduced to other pro with it. He's only had to hit 16 second serve so far. He's only lost nine points on first serve, Novak. And that's 10 from 17 now behind his second serve. Six three, six two, two Close. love. Shocked. Seventy three minutes, seventy four now. Fifteen love. He looks a little bit Thank slow, Gareth Monfils. He looks tired. I mean, he's not tired, we know that, but that's emotional fatigue. 40, 15. It's the third time he served two aces in the game. First time he served three. Gets on the scoreboard, third set. The ones that were clapping when others were booing are still clapping, but the booers, they're not doing anything. Leads, two games to one, third set. And by two sets to love. One, two. But unless Novak completely switches off here, it's difficult to imagine a way that Monfils can get back in. There is no chance unless they're close to roof with a bit of rain. Yesterday, they closed the roof with Andy Mauro was leading 6-1, and it was 3-all, I think, in the second set, changed everything. There's a little bit of overcast, and they were calling for sort of a tropical storm coming in. And that would be Guy Monfils' best chance right now. Mm. Well, they talked about a 30% chance of rain, no, 15. perhaps thunderstorms as well. Certainly cloudier at the start of play. They better hurry up those clouds. No one has ever won this US Open in the men's game without dropping a set. Wow. He's getting closer, isn't he? That is very close. With a lot of help. Huh? 
First of the set, fifth of the match for Novak. Break points. It's in the open era, that is, that no man has won the US Open, dropping no sets. Too defensive on the return there, Monfils. Has to do a little bit more. It's got to take a chance. Has to take this lifeline if given a chance, surely. from Monface. He's winning back some friends. He's back in the third set. He's so quick around the court, it's incredible. How he gets from all the way back there to here. Third set. And he does his own little thing here, a little sort of shove. Forehand cross court and Djokovic no chance. Impossible to slide much longer than that on a hard court. Let's you can slide from up. Paris to the south of France on a clay court. <laughs> At last, something happening for Monfils. 15 love. Four aces in his last five service points. Uh oh. Uh oh. Expression hasn't changed at all on Tilstrom's face. Another cool Swede. it happen here Monfils he's starting to make a match of this at least in this third set 
40, 15. is in his last two service games three games in a row on feast lead 3-2 third set you might not want the roof to shut but from such a desperate hour or so he's starting to feature in this semi-final Djokovic 2-3 third set So many different tactics, isn't he, Monfils? Fifteen love. ball first and then the unleashing 15 13 he still does not like that slower ball to the forehand does he Djokovic for this is amazing that he's found his game at last look at this it's so quick 15 14. the chance to go up at break of serve thank you is there a finer sight than Monfils in full flight Took it on. I think it's the right play. Still got a break point. Two from seven. What does it do? Go for the safe serve to the Monfils backhand and start the point, or? Yeah. Exactly that. Oh. 
Didn't like it again. The loopier ball, no pace. Total shank from Djokovic. And suddenly Monfils, from nowhere, has won four games in a row. Monfils leads. Four games to two. Third set. Things are warming up. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Players are ready. Thank you. It's almost like those three aces he served that love two down in this set, Monfils, has just inspired him. Yeah. Release his arm a little bit. It is. Oh. Well, he's doing an Ishikori at the moment, and it's working. Forty fifteen. in a row for Gail Monfils. 5-2 the lead. Cincinnati with a left wrist. In the third set at 2 5. Please, quickly, please. Thank you, ladies. at the moment, Monfils. Love, 15. Suddenly a test again for Novak. Janovic, the pole, got a set in the first round. The second set, walk over over Vesely. 4-2 retired against Eugeny. 2-1 and 4 against Edmund. 6-3, 6-2 retired Songa. He's not used to a battle. Since maybe the start of the third set in the first round. But a set all. Thank you. You mentioned the conditions, Matt. Djokovic not a great fan of heat and humidity. Oh. 
face has gone look very red. He looks hot and bothered for all sorts of reasons. 40, 15. Shoulder got a treatment. Let's sit down. He's starting to feel it. Yeah, definitely. I heard what you, overheard what you said about he hasn't really been in the battle the whole time, but I think the humidity it just takes away a little bit of spin of his forehand, and his forehand is the is the big weapon. He can spin it up just a little bit higher, push his opponent back a little bit. Andy Murray does the same thing. Once humidity comes into play, you just can't do it. He's got a new lease of life, Monfils. It's like he's just starting the match. 40 30. This turnaround is gathering momentum with every passing minute. Yes. Djokovic going for drop shots, drop volleys now all the time. Boris Becker is now suddenly concerned, leaning forwards. He's hit a wall, Djokovic. 40-15 up to set point. Thank you. Thank you. Shot again, yeah. and it's wonderful touch. I mean, the heat policy was in today for the juniors. No heat policy for the pro men. You're gonna love this last shot that he hits. <laughs> he hits it back to Mikael Tilstrom up in the coach's box. Djokovic. They're both feeling it. <laughs> Grueling conditions. Yeah. Set point saved. Terrific hold from Novak Djokovic. This is really the big test for Gael Monfisto. What is he going to do now? How creative does he dare to be? Novak's parents courtside. We have an atmosphere. A positive one. Yes, it was negative in the beginning. But uh, Gael Monfils has lit this crowd up. Thank you.
Love 15. Terrific return right down low. Drained all of a sudden on face. I mean, the servant volley on the first point to Novak's forehand was crazy enough. This is a good point until this shot. What was that? I think he agrees with you. Thank you. Opening here for Djokovic. Three break back points for the world number one. Love 14. Again, slightly annoyed here, Novak. Not really sure why. Super control. Still break point. Thank you. Doubling over after each point. It's like the spurt to yeah. get back from love two to five two initially, and now five three has taken an enormous amount from Monfils. Oh. But he's got a set point from love 40. Response. The crowd too. Jean Gashisan, he looks different. Djokovic in frustration has got rid of that shirt. It's two sets to one. He has to keep pressing forward, that's for sure. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Take your seats quickly, please. Good thing for Novak is that he's serving first. That is huge. Overall, 14 winners in that third set from Monfils, just six unforced. Somehow he's got to maintain that. 
We expect a response here from Djokovic. Sixty-six titles, twelve Grand Slams. We'll tell you that winning the French this year, just the eighth player in history to win all four, just the third man in history to hold all four at the same time. Of course, after Don Budge and Rod Laver. Well, a moth on his back. to juice wow it's quick juice thank you Fees has a chance to get the initiative at the start of the fourth set. Advantage Monfils. Looks well, really unlucky for Murray for uh, sorry Novak Djokovic to hit the top of the net, of course, because it just sat up yes. for Monfils. But Monfils did a great job in that point. Point starts though, Monfils looks full of life. They're on a stage.
please. Well held, saves the break point, Djokovic. I feel a lot better about that. Just breaks that momentum of Monfils. You almost get the sense they're sort of playing in an oven. Now Monfils turned to have the trainer on. And the doctor. They asked Monfils, do you have any more in the locker room? And he said no. And I think the trainer said, we'll try and find some. What that is? I'm not sure. Salt tablets, maybe. Yeah. Cramping, maybe. After that four-set win first round, Djokovic got a walk over Vesley. His problem was forearm, usually hamstring, left knee for Songa. Let's hope it is just sort tablets. Nothing else. No injury timeout. No assessment. Just a conversation for the Frenchman. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. So often when you've had a break point, you don't convert, you can lose serve. Nearly always. Novak knows that too, he's a top player. He's really Fled. taking advantage of the lower ranked players. Absolutely brilliant how he read that, picked him off. Three break points. Love 40. Carl Edmund is watching this. He plays so well against Novak in the fourth round. Pat Cash called the match with me and said that Carl would have beaten a lot of players with his performance against Novak. Be some baggage if he doesn't break 30, here. 
crawled over the top of the net. Nothing comes easy. It's his first double fault for a long time. I think that's since the first game of the third set. When he double faulted to give Djokovic the break. Yeah. Well, amazing defense initially from Djokovic. On Feast holds firm. What a hold that is from Love 40. One game all, four sets. I always found it very in, important to stay close in the sets, in the fourth set, for some reason. It's very difficult to come back when you're down a set, down the break in the second, in the fourth set, because you start thinking about the fifth set. But so it's really important for Gail to stay within sort of unserved the whole way through. Try and squeeze Thank this you. set out. Hopefully, there's the whole trainer's team waiting. Yeah. Doctors and trainers and the winner who needs a... Uh... Out. La 15. Wonderful touch from Novak. <laughs> the lob, because he knows Monfils can jump so high. 30, 15.
Not a point that somehow Monfils gets away with. That same sort of bunt return and it kind of gets Novak to get into the trap. They're trying to do too much and then they get stuck in the middle of the court and can't do anything. Very interesting tactics. Two one Djokovic, fourth set on serve. Two hours and six minutes now. Novak is not wasn't ready for it. Like he, he was nearly done. And it's very hard to recharge your batteries and start working again and doing the right thing over and over again. So I'm not sure. Again though, it's so important for Gael to stay on serve. So every game he serves, he's down a, down a game, has to hold serve. Monfils, 1-2 in sets and games. Fifteen, love. Just hearing for some people who are courtside. I mean, the temperature out there is, is 33 in the shade at the moment, 92 Fahrenheit. But the humidity is just almost like sitting on the court. Everyone's sweating courtside, just sitting. Play the left-handed shot there, Monfils. 15, 13. Right there. Can you get to all of those? 15, 14. Incredible play. Covering the entire court. Two more break points for Novak. It's five from 15. And that was a big Two. point as well. Monfils is feeling it, that's for sure. He's bending over at the baseline. sure what he's saying here it's listening
20 seconds between points, is it something to do with that? Asking if he needs to go faster, as Eva Azdaraki had a chat with him to say you're just on the line here. It's a gruelling, gruelling day. Djokovic breaks, leads 3-1, fourth set. Gael Monfils is completely exhausted over there. Is he leaning over more than normal? It's the humidity, it really saps. Bruce Willis, courtside. He needs quick points now, Monfils. Wow. Love 15. Slipping away. beating each other to submission at the yeah. moment. <laughs> wow, how tired is he? chance on the pass there Novak here's more break points well feast three from ten so far it's gonna be the survival of the fittest here thank you ladies and gentlemen Cramp. He sort of stumbled, almost fell there, Novak. Monfils breaks straight back. It's on serve, four so set at two, three. Two. Right shoulder. Gail Monfils is going to get a bit of AC. Take the chance to have a break here as uh, Novak receives a full medical timeout of three minutes. They are both really struggling to deal with these conditions, that's for sure. 
They're brutal when the humidity gets as high as it is in New York today with the heat. And remember, it's 33 Celsius approximately in the shade right now, well over 90 degrees. That's in the shade, so on a cement court, pretty much, way over 100 degrees. And the humidity just sapping everything from them. Two hours and 18 minutes, the journey so far. It probably feels much longer than that. He had his left wrist problem, he missed Cincy, Djokovic. But the shoulders have been the problem today. The match that he was sailing through. First set in 36 minutes. 6-1 with an out of sorts Monfils. 29 minutes the second set. The break up, two love in the third. And then suddenly Monfils came to life. Three aces when love two down in the third set from Monfils set him on his way to a much, much improved performance. And we are right in the thick of this battle now. You know, the top players had good results against Rafa and, uh, uh, you know, he beat Stan in, in uh, Toronto. So he's still you know, a big advantage, obviously, and, uh, for Novak being two today. sets to one up. Be the game plan today. We'll see. <laughs> Just uh, how, how will he prepare um, play Stan, who's a very good player, especially the back on end. Feast on his yeah, way I mean, back. He's going to play his game. He, you know, he's not, uh, he's not going to change anything drastic. Um, a he's got to go out there and certainly play I'm smart sure. tennis. Uh, Stan, obviously, is playing well already. Um, you know, both both guys have tremendous backhands, and uh, you're going to see a lot of a lot of long, tough rallies from the back. Monfils, um, remember, hasn't and, played uh, since you know, Tuesday against Puy. His fellow Frenchman, Djokovic, has had a couple of days off. He's had so much time off, as we constantly keep saying. Just under six and a half hours to this semi-final, a historic run through with the two retirements and a walkover. But he's the one struggling at the moment having had all that luck or misfortune for his opponents. Your thoughts, Matt? It's really hard to call right now. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't see Novak having a, a specific game plan. I see Gael just fighting, hanging in there. Good, good, good spirit. It looks exhausted between points, but somehow he has the, this ability to keep playing good points. My thoughts are that Djokovic is going to break in the next two service games of Gael Monfils and end this in four sets. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. So, 2-3. One feast, fourth set. Love fifteen. Tenth double four. This cannot do that at this time of the match. Two double faults. Your opponent is not doing anything to your second serve. You just have to spin it in. That was the right play. 
Such a shocking volley. Thank you. It's got away with it somehow. They're both just literally trying to find the strength to play each point. Yes. To think clearly must be very difficult too. They're suffering as much as this, it seems. Makes you wonder if Novak Djokovic had had to really battle and battle hard to get to the semi-finals. At some point, Gael Monfils has to go to Novak Djokovic's forehand. The forehand is definitely the weakness when he gets a little bit tired. When Djokovic gets a little bit tired, he doesn't use the variation on his forehand. It's just a, sort of a solid shot and he misses it. The backhand is just a backboard. It's a wall. Three breaks of serve in a row. Now it's a test for that Djokovic shoulder. Have the treatment on it. Djokovic leads four games to two, fourth set. But he's got the break back. He's got some breathing space. On a day when it's become tough to breathe. Yes. Very difficult conditions to play in when it's hot and very humid. More humid than hot, most probably. Double faults in a row. Shoulder must be a problem. Monfils run the longest distance. Mistakes like that at this stage of the game. 
I mean, he's not taking a chance. He's not going for the return. He's just trying to put it in play. That's just fatigue, inexperience. Well done, he really gathered himself well there. Smart serve out wide as well. 40, 30. Go back behind. Basically, the difference here is he knows how to win. Gael just knows how to fight. And he's won another game to get closer and closer to yet another final here. He's one game away. So huge pressure here on Monfils. He's got to hold serve to stay in the tournament. His first semi-final here. Second semi-final in the Grand Slam in his career. Which sounds so bad when you say that. I've heard you've said that twice now. Yeah. He's 30 years old. Gael Monfils was the number one player in the juniors by miles. And he's only managed two semi-finals in Grand Slams. What an underachiever. Got the head start in the game. But I'll tell you what. Love 15. It's wide. Love 40. Three match points for the world number one. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Game set up. Finishes with a flourish, like a true champion.